Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's going to be a quick one juice review. A little while ago, Eric from SimSig sent me some juices for the Sunday show, which I've already reviewed. In that package though, was going to be the bottle. This one is going to be the Sirius Grozelle. Probably saying that wrong. Sirius Grozelle will be a cherry and red currant. It's made in France by a company called, I'm going to say their name wrong, Curious 1900. There's about four flavors in this range. I can take off my glasses now. Now this range is going to be quite unique in a way. It's going to be a 60-40, that's going to be 60 VG, 40, not PG. They're using an ingredient called Vegetol. There's quite a few companies over in Europe using Vegetol. Vegetol is going to be an organic compound. It's going to be natural. It's used to replace propylene glycol. This is for people who have a real intolerance to PG. There may be a slight trace of PG with the flavorings, but the main ingredients is going to be VG and Vegetol. Like I said, it's going to be organic, natural compound. It performs the same way as PG, but it's going to be a flavor carrier. It does give a slight harsh throat hit as well. So yeah, 60-40. If I did one, one nicotine shot, but my nicotine shot was VG. So it's going to be a bit more higher VG than Vegetol. So let's try Syriot's Roselle quickly. I'm testing this one not just for the juice and the flavour, but for how it performs. Been vaping it for about a week now. Flavour wise, I'm getting a really nice sweet cherry and a slight tartness with it. That tartness will be the red currants. Red currants can be slightly sweet and sour at the same time. They have a slight tartiness when you eat them. In the background, there's a few other flavours. The same spices, sometimes for me, now and again it tastes slightly minty, but not always. There's a slight spicy note to it. It's a bit like a mulled wine sort of spice, mixed with the cherry and the red currant. It's one of those juices that changes over time. As you're vaping it more and more, you get more and more different flavours. But definitely for me, a nice sweet cherry. And then, like I said, a slight tart, tangy red currant. Then a spicy note. That spices, not too sure they're using like an aniseed in there, maybe. It's a bit hard to tell. It really is a well blended juice. Tastes, like I said, a bit like a sort of mulled wine effect, not a mulled wine taste. I will say about the vegetal. It's producing nice clouds and nice vapour. I will say for a 60-40 though, it's a bit wispy. It produces a nice cloud, like I said, but it does clear away quite easy. Go, as you can see in the air, it goes quite thin and wispy. Not huge, heavy, dense clouds like a normal 60-40 VGPG. But really, really nice. It's a nice smooth vape as well, I must say. It's going to give you a slight harshness, but I'm not feeling that. I'm getting a really smooth inhale and a smooth exhale. I could vape that all day quite easy. If it didn't know any better, I think it's just going to be a normal 60-40 VGPG. So that Vegetol is working and is working well. I don't have any sort of PG intolerance, but if you do, maybe look at this range. There's four flavours in total. We've got one bottle to try. But yeah, it's going to be really nice. Nice flavour. Nice cherry and nice red currant. A slight spicy note as well. That's going to be, of course, the... Look, service Groselle, which is going to be red currant and cherry. Big thanks to Eric from SimSig for sending this over. Did enjoy this one. It's something different. It's nice to see companies trying something different. Like I said, I've been online and searched around for this vegetal. I found about four companies in East Europe 
doing a few juice ranges with this liquid. It's going to be, like I said, aimed for you guys who are really PG intolerant. There is going to be a slight PG with this one, obviously with the flavouring, but it's going to be a really low percentage. Nowhere over 5% VG, uh, PG, should I say. So yeah, really nice juice, really nice flavour. Nice to see something different out there on the market. Nice, spicy, red currant and cherry. Sometimes, like I said, it's got a slight mintiness to me, but not all the time. As I said, Evic from SimSig sent this to me. I can't put a link down below to SimSig. But down below is a link to my website. On my website, there's going to be a vendor's page. On the vendor's page, you can find SimSig. So yeah, guys and girls, hope you like the video. Do you like the video? Want to give me a thumbs up? Dislike it. Give me a thumbs down. And yeah, I'll see you all on the next one.